Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Liv or Olivia if you've never been here before. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I absolutely cannot wait to share with you some of my all-time favorite wintry cozy book recommendations. <music> debated even wanting to create this video because the past two years I've basically shared the same exact books. I feel like there are a lot of repeats within the book community. A lot of people are reading the same type of books around this time of year because there is only so many. So I decided to go ahead and put my twist on some wintry book recommendations. You guys know I love a good cozy feel, cozy vibe. So while some of these books are not necessarily wintry themed, they do just give you the ultimate cozy feel good feeling inside and that's what I love about these books so I thought I would share them with you today in hopes that maybe you will now associate some of these books with winter time that just give you that cozy feel. I had to start with two of my newest favorite cozy fantasy books because I fell in love with these books instantly. The first one being Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This book you guys I was internally screaming about how much I loved it every single page that I read of this book. In this book we have our main character Viv who yes she's an orc. She decides to lay down her sword for the very last time because she wants to switch up her pace of life. She's done with fighting and so she decides to find this small coastal town and start her own coffee shop where people have never heard of coffee before. She then meets all sorts of quirky, cozy, fun, delightful characters that are willing to help her get this coffee shop up and running. She also establishes a friendship and maybe romance and this just had the best slow paced slice of life vibes and now I really want to find more books like this. If you are not even all that into fantasy I can guarantee you may actually be interested in this one because there is not a lot of politics involved, there's not a lot of action or fighting, but it just includes all sorts of baking and coffee and oh, the characters are so good. This is also very very short right around 230 250 pages so if you're just looking for a book where you can sit down and read in one sitting by the fireplace or your Christmas tree highly 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 recommend this one and the next book that no I have not actually finished yet but I had to put it on this list I'm 60 pages in and cannot put it down you guys that is a wizard's guide to defensive baking by T Kingfisher I'm sure you've seen the name T Kingfisher thrown around a lot in regards to fantasy and horror books and just really weird books. But this book is the complete opposite of that. It gives me those cozy, wintry, middle grade fantasy vibes and also a cozy mystery. So if you are a cozy mystery reader, I highly recommend looking into this one as well. In this story, we have our main character, Mona, who is only 14 years old and she stumbles upon a dead body of a woman in her aunt bakery one day. She is then accused of killing this lady because she's found with a body. She's hauled off to the palace to get questioned. She gets released. She's mainly pulled for questioning because she is a wizard, but she's actually like a baker wizard. She only knows how to bake things things with her magic. And one of her companions is a sourdough starter that went terribly, terribly wrong one time and it is just so funny. All of the gingerbread and cookies that actually have personalities and human-like characteristics is just so fun to read. That is as far as I've gotten in this story. I don't know where else it's gonna take me, but it's definitely reading more middle grade young adult unless there so happens to be an adult theme so far it's just such an easy breezy book and full of those cozy wintry vibes. Going off a cozy fantasy theme, I had to recommend a book that I read last year and absolutely fell in love with. I cannot wait to continue the series and that is A Winter's Promise. This book is 
full of quirky characters, humor. This was actually translated from French, I believe, and there is four in the series. I have the second one. I haven't read the second one yet, but I love this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. Our main character, Ophelia, can actually read people's past if she touches a possession that they own. I thought that was a really unique idea because she can also travel through mirrors, which was also very interesting concept. Not only that, but she finds out that she is a pawn in this political scheme and she is forced to marry a man that she doesn't care about. And I just adore the love interest in this book because the guy is just so sweet. He's not forceful. He really wants to get to know Ophelia. And if you like a little bit of romance sprinkled in your fantasy, I highly recommend this one because I love their relationship. But overall, this was just such a fun time. Like I said, it was full of quirky, fun characters to get to know. The humor was phenomenal, and overall, it just gives you that good feeling inside. The next book I want to mention is probably going to be no surprise. It is very loved in the book community, but definitely for good reason, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is full of Russian folk tales and fairy tale vibes. There's a blue-eyed winter demon named Frost that our main character has heard stories of growing up, but supposedly it comes to life in this story. It's creepy. There's so many chilling winter moments in this book. It definitely reads very slowly, so you just have to take your time with it and just enjoy the atmosphere because this is probably the most atmospheric book that I have on this list for winter time. So if you're into more of those wintry vibes and atmosphere versus like characters or plot, definitely recommend this one. It's slow, like I said, but I remember reading this last year or two years ago, I believe, by a fireplace, and I just imagined this whole world coming to life in my head, and it was just so good. Catherine Arden has such a way with words, and I will pick up literally anything that she writes. The next book I have to recommend is for my Narnia fantasy fans out there. Was this book the best book ever? No, but did it give me the most nostalgic feelings? Absolutely. So I had to recommend you guys Once Upon a Wardrobe by Patty Callahan. You probably saw this going around Bookstagram quite a bit, and again, for good reason, because it had me emotional, it just had me in my feelings, and I'm pretty sure I ended up doing a Narnia rewatch right after I read this book because I just had to. In this book, we have our main character, Meg, whose younger brother is unfortunately dying of a terminal illness, and so one one day she decides to bring him the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. He absolutely falls in love with the story, wants to know where in the world Narnia came from, wants to know does it actually exist because he wants to go there. So then Meg puts it upon herself to go on this whole journey to track down who I believe is C.S. Lewis's brother. He works at Oxford where Meg is actually a student and so she kind of hounds him down, asks some questions about her brother's life, and it is just so interesting the answers that this author came up with. And if you love Narnia, like I said, this book is definitely a must read. You will not regret picking it up and I actually am really interested in picking up other books by this author because the writing was just so heartfelt, it was so good, and this is definitely one that I love recommending this time of year. I also had to recommend a book that I could not put down. I think I read it two years ago and I really really fell in love with Frederick Bachman because of this book. Yes, this book is called Bear Town, and I absolutely fell in love with this small town, cozy, wintry feeling of this book. If you are a fan of hard-hitting topics within your books, you're not super into fantasy, but you do love contemporary literature, I highly recommend this one. This sounds like a very simple story because we have a small town hockey team that is just trying to make it to the finals, but not only that, that there are other friendships and relationships weaved into that plot line. I also really, really love the friendship aspect in this book. It's actually one of my all-time favorites. I just adore this so much. I don't know why I haven't picked up the second book or companion novel to this. It takes place in the same town. I'm totally forgetting what it's called, but if you love a wintry, small-town feel, you want something that's going to make you emotional, but I would definitely look up 
up trigger warnings before you read this because I was not aware of some of the big, big, big topics in this book. I'm not going to sit here and spoil it for you. I will leave that up to you. But this definitely has a different feel for this time of year. Like I said, it's hard hitting. It's not going to be these magical fantasy books I've been recommending. So this definitely stands out on its own. But if you love a good cry check it out. This next book is also probably going to come as no surprise to you, but I'm also calling myself out a little bit here because I'm ashamed. I grew up watching this movie. I love the story. I bawl every single time. And no, I have not read the book in its full entirety. And that would be Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This book stares at me on my shelves all the time. It is always mentioned in the community. I would love to put it on my winter TBR, but like there's already so many like holiday wintry books to read so I probably will not get around to it this year. But for some reason I always associate this book with Christmas time but a big chunk of this book is set during winter time. In this book we have four sisters which right away I love a good sister dynamic and then of course we have the mother whose husband goes away to war and we just follow these girls throughout their daily life and the way they serve people and help people People at Christmas time during the wintry cold. It's just such a good example. I love and adore the women in this book so much, but because a big part of this book does take place around winter time, especially in the movies, I had to put it on this list. The last few books I'm going to talk about are actually middle grade books. I feel like around winter time and Christmas time especially, I am way more likely to pick up middle grade than any other time of the year. They just have so much whimsy to them and they just make me feel so good. And the first one I have to recommend is Snow and Rose by Emily Winfield Martin. I love this book so 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 much and the main reason being there are some great illustrations in this book. I absolutely love the color palette. I'm gonna read you part of the inside and the back because it just explains it so well and why it piqued my interest when I first read it. Snow and Rose didn't know they were living in a fairy tale. People never do. Snow and Rose were two two sisters as different as night and day. They lived in the woods, but it hadn't always been so. Once they lived in a big house with spectacular gardens and an army of servants. Once they had a father and mother who loved them more than the sun and moon. But that was before their father disappeared into the woods and their mother disappeared into sorrow. This book is so small and it's so easy to fly through. Our two sisters actually go on an adventure in the snowy wintry forest trying to search for their father so that their mother will be happy again. And of course, they meet all of these cute magical creatures along the way. I believe there's even a gnome, there's a bear, and this is just such a fun, cute, adventurous little book. I've bought it for multiple people. Overall, this is just going to be another one of those quick, easy books to read, to cozy it by the fireplace. You can read it in one sitting, and it's just going to give you the best warm feelings inside. The next book I have is an absolute all-time favorite out of all all of these books, I would love to continue to reread this every single year. That is Green Glass House by Kate Milford. First of all, you guys know this cover is absolutely stunning. I would also recommend this to mystery lovers because it takes place in an isolated setting where there's this house that acts as a hotel, but there's a terrible winter storm. There's all these random guests that start showing up and our main character Milo thinks he's going to have a chill, relaxing, winter and Christmas season, but unfortunately, since all these guests showed up, he is forced to serve them and be a host to them along with his parents. Somehow, all of these guests connect. There are things that go missing, and Milo has a really cute friend. I can't remember what her name is called, but I love the friendship dynamic in this, but let me just say I got super emotional at the end because there's a topic or theme that really hits home and close to my my heart. I cannot spoil it, but just know that you may end up in tears at the end of this. And another one of my all-time favorite book covers is North Child by Edith Petto. Can we just look at the spine though? 
absolutely stunning. In this fantasy world, depending on which direction the children are facing when they're born kind of determines their destiny. And because our main character Rose is facing north when she's born, she is destined to be kind of a wanderer. She ends up leaving her family because she's made a pact with this ginormous white bear who takes her back to a castle. I love Rose so much because she is just trying to explore her true identity. She doesn't want to be a wanderer, but there is a lot unraveled in this book. So that is all I'm going to say. The wintry feelings of them traipsing through a winter forest. There is a cold, cold, cold castle where there's a fireplace and there's just so many atmospheric elements to this, which is why I love reading it this time of year. And last but definitely not least, this series still stands as my number one favorite of all time. Nothing has come along yet that has beat it, and that is the Nevermore series, The Trial of Morgan Crow. I loved the first one so, so, so much, and I feel like a lot of us are into rereading Harry Potter this time of year. It's just very nostalgic, and if you want those nostalgic feelings like Harry Potter, pick this up. This is like Alice in Wonderland and Harry Potter had a child. I just, ugh, you guys, I cannot explain or express my love for this series. The lessons Morgan learns in this book, ugh, it's just so good and it really speaks to my own heart as well. Basically, Morgan is born on Eventide, which is the most unluckiest day of the year, and because of that, all of the misfortunes that are happening Happening in this town to all the townspeople are getting blamed on her because of that. But one day a very interesting man named Jupiter sweeps her away and promises that he can take her to a land called Nevermore where she can do tests and trials and try to earn her keep to stay in this better town than the one she's living in now. I loved the kind of competition element to this. I really 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 want to reread this. It just reminds me of a mix of so many different childhood books that I read. It's just very nostalgic for me and if you haven't read this yet, highly recommend it right now. You need to go pick this up. It is the perfect time of year to dive into this series. All right, well I think that concludes my top 11, I guess you could say, cozy wintry recommendations. This list is my absolute favorite list. This time of year is the perfect time to pick up all of these books and like I said before, maybe you didn't associate any of these books with wintry or cozy feelings, but maybe you do now. So I hope you at least pick one of these books up during this winter season. Obviously, I highly recommend. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your holiday season, and I hope it's just full of all of the cozy vibe feelings that you're looking for. Thank you so much once again for stopping by. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next cozy video. Thank you.